Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 30, no, 63 in chapter 2. In this one, it tells us the rocket up through problems. First sentence tells us the rocket moving vertically upward. This one tells us the initial velocity is up. So we take up as a positive direction. There we consider the ground as the reference point, so the position y0 is 0 meter. And this the initial velocity is just as the we want to find, right? And then it tells us it passes by a 2 meter high window, who is 8 meter above the ground. So that means the rocket then arrives the bottom of the window. The position is 8 meter, 8 meter, and then it kept going to the top of the window. The position is y2. Their y2 should be y1 plus 2 meters. 10 meters, agree? 10 meters. And the time taken for the rocket takes 0 0.15 seconds to travel 2 meters ahead of the window. So the, the time taken, t2, should be t1 plus 0 0.15, agree? And then the rocket kept going. When it comes to the peak, we can see the initial the velocity at the peak is zero. The position we don't know yet, and we want to find. In this whole process, this is up through problems. The acceleration is due to gravity. It is always pointing down, so we keep the negative side there. Keep negative side there. And then the magnitude for acceleration is 9.8 meter per second square. When we want to solve the problem, first one, what is the initial velocity v0? v0. So in this one, we can say we can solve the problem by two steps. First one, we can find the velocity at v1. Agree? Because we can say from the v1 to v2. We know the relationship um, between the y2, y1, t2, t1, and we also know acceleration. Then see how we solve these problems. First one, we can see the time taken for this part is 0 0.15 seconds. And then we can write the equation from y2 to y1. So this is y2 equal to y1 plus v1 times t plus 1 half at squared. Their acceleration is negative g. In this one, we can solve, we can input the numbers. So this is 10 meter equal to 8 meter, right? 0, 0 0.15 times v1, and then we input all the known quantities. We get v1 is 14 meter per second. So v1 is given. After we know the v1, we can see in this way, we know the v1, we know the position y1, and we know y0. And we also know acceleration. We need to find the z0. This is the equation about the velocity with displacement. This one, do you agree? Yeah, and then we input the lower quantities. We find the y0 is, is 0, so we just drop it. And the acceleration is negative g. In this one, we can solve the v0 is squared v1 squared plus hg y1, and then we get it. It's a 19 meter per second. After we get that, we need to find the, uh, the y3, right? At the peak, what is the position? So in this one, we can see uh, this one is given how high it will go. So it depends on you. It's up on you which part you choose. For example, I would prefer from the initial to the peak. We can see at the initial to the peak, the initial velocity is given. Initial position is given. Final velocity is given. Final position is not known yet. They're not known yet. So acceleration is given. So we can solve the problem. So V3 is 0. And then A. Acceleration A is negative G, and the Y3 keep it there. Y0 is there, and then we solve it. We get the Y3 is V0 squared divided by 2G, and then we solve it. It's 18 meters. Thank you.